Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the next part of the project uh, hotel reservation system and you can you can do uh, it any project or you, you can say that. So here we have uh, web applications and in the utility project I already created I email center class and uh, in the repository section uh, that is the application DB context class and uh, in the models folder we have nothing to there and utility there is nothing okay so just uh, in the program.cs file you have to see in uh, here we have a application db context class and use identity user identity role but uh, email center is clear now just add a data seeding part so you have to create a data seeding uh, class okay so in the in the utility folder just add a new IDB initializer class so first of all add a new item <coughs> and here you can add interface that interface name is IDB initializer okay. so here we have a IDB initializer class and make it public okay and in which you can create a single method that is void initialize initializer you can say so here we have a initializer method and after that uh, in the utility folder just add a new class db initializer and that make it first of all public head with i uh, i db initializer so here we have oops db initializer and idb initializer that is interface public interface idb idb initializer and use it here okay so the spell mistake so implement interface okay in which you can add uh, three uh, things the first one is sign in uh, user manager role manager and the next one is application db context class so here you can add a private user manager and that is type of identity user so just resolve that user manager i core identity Similarly, private role manager and private application DB context. Underscore context class. So here we have just add these classes in the constructor. So generate constructor. So here we have uh, IDB initializer uh, method. Uh, sorry, uh, that is the constructor. And you can check in the initialize method. First of all, uh, migrate. So if not underscore context dot database dot get So here we you can use so we get pending migrations and that get pending migration is actually exist in Microsoft Entity Framework Core dot count and the count method is greater than zero then you can say oops. underscore context 
so here you can tag count is also a method and there is a no need so contact dot database dot get pending migrations dot count is greater than zero then you can say that context dot database dot migrate functions okay so here is the code uh, so, so you can take it uh, in the try catch block okay so here we have okay so after that uh, in the uh, try catch block you have to uh, say that just after the catch block or you can say in the inside the if block you can just add uh, if it is not exist the role then you can add it so before going to add role in the project so just add first of all roles class so just add a new class website role and just make it public first of all and also make it static and in which you can say that prop that is const and type of the type of string and the name is uh, uh, hotel uh, hotel admin equals to admin there is the name of the project okay so here we have okay you can say that uh, const a public string portal admin equals to admin okay then next one is the type of user so hotel user is the name of the role and the class called that is user now after that in the db initializer class just add a new role inside it here if it is not exist in the database context class so you can just add it here like that So here you can say that uh, underscore role manager not exist dot role dot exist website role website uh, role dot hotel admin that is the name but uh, you can say that dot hotel admin okay so get avatar dot get result just it is if it is not exist then create it first of all website role dot hotel admin okay the name is hot admin or the admin and the rows is user okay so there is a two role in the application and just add a new application user class inside your model folder so here we have a models folder inside it you can say that here we have application user class is already there and application user class is identity user so in the db initializer class so if it is first of all you can see that role manager dot role exist async if it is exist there is a no need to create it inside the if block okay uh, dot uh, not exist then you will create it and also create a new application user class okay so user manager dot create async user manager application user admin uh, username email and passwords and this this is the password get avatar dot get result application user context dot application users dot first or default if it is found that email that is created above then you can add this role in the add this user in the role of admin so here you can say that port admin dot get awaiter dot get result okay so you can see the whole code identity user identity role okay so everything is fine <coughs> So the next thing is to add uh, that db initializer uh, service 
and inject that service in the program.cs file. So here we have builder dot services dot add scoped idb initializer and there is the repository class here we have a repository class okay so everything is fine in the add scoped now after that you can create a scoped and seeding that method so here you can say app dot data seeding so the app dot data seeding is only as method so Just add this method after the run okay so after that you have to do like that uh, where scope app dot service dot create a scope I uh, db initializer scope dot service provider dot get required service idb initializer so here we have a idb initializer just copy in the paste idb initializer and here we have to db initializer dot initialize that method name so dot initializer that is the method name okay so just remove from throw notification okay so everything is fine now after that when when you run that program uh, then data seeding is uh, there and done your uh, repository for the db initializer and your roles and the application user will created in the database that is the default okay so just go for in the uh, program.cs file and you can see that here we have a identity user identity role everything is clear so now after that you have to run your project Wait for some time, your project will be done after a few seconds. Okay, so everything is fine because your project is run completely successful. So when we click on the register button and here you have the register, is clear. Now, uh, next for uh, to add some repositories in the project and add some models in the project. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET.